Coming up, the Great Fun 120 scale container model. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this great fun 120th scale 20 GP container model. Uh, this is a first. Um, this is something I'm going to be adding into my zombie initiative diorama for my G.I. Joe figures. Um, this fits 118 scale figures like perfectly. So 120th scale, it's not really that much of a difference. It's supposed to be a little smaller, but it fits just fine. Um, you can pick these up on eBay, AliExpress, a few places. I'll leave a couple pictures here so you guys can see. Um, they run roughly 30, 35 bucks, give or take, uh, if you can get one. Um, this design, MCS, I know I've seen this logo on shipping containers um, around the Port of Baltimore, so it's a real company. They actually have several you can choose from. You know, there's any, anything from FedEx to, it. you know, the list just goes on. You'd have to see it. But anyways, let's go ahead and look this over. So you have a window right here to show you that you get this yellow container with the logo on it. You can see 120th scale GP container model, uh, G fun, and then a number, another number. Um, there's your dimensions. So pretty neat. It's like eight by six. Super heavy. Nothing on the top. Beside you have some Chinese and some more dimensions. Here's the back of the box. This side, it's kind of the box itself looks like a shipping container, which is pretty cool. Shows you like the maximum a real container can hold. You know your payload, all that good stuff. The bottom, there's a great fun, the maker, made in China. Some warnings. And all right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. But first, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so. It's basically nothing to it. And then you just pop the box and then slide your container on out. So put the box off to the side. And here it is. Uh, it looks pretty cool, man. It actually looks like really legit. Um, it feels made pretty well, too. There you see the back, bottom, and then you got your opening doors here so it's nice it's got all that you know detail in it it feels plastic but it also sounds a little like metal but you have these working latches here which is pretty awesome two on each side and then we'll uh, open it up cool so the inside is all white it's not painted you can actually see some of the yellow over here um, pretty decent size. Anyway, set that to the side for a minute. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and try to push this back so I'm gonna open this door so you can see like right here at this angle. I've got a couple figures I'm gonna bring in. Um, like I said, I mentioned this is for my zombie initiative. So here is a three and three quarter Super 7 Tarman. And you can see it fits quite well. So there's that. We have the zombie lab, zombie, right here. See the difference in size? You got your three and three quarter as opposed to like four, four and a quarter. And it fits fine. Still got some room to move around with. And then we have a GI Joe, and this is a Walmart four inch retro collection Cobra Trooper. As well as well. Stand them up on one side if you want. Gotta mess with his legs on. But you could also like the main idea was maybe use this as kind of like a little fallout shelter. You know, like they're running in. You know, he's trying to get the door closed or something, and you got zombies coming from left and right. You know, ooh, it's like run. So it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, these are definitely cool. Um, one thing I do want to try, I'm going to bring in this Eco Striker. I don't think it'll fit, but it was worth a shot. 
Nah, it's just a bit too wide. But it would be nice if it would fit in there. It would be like perfect. Yeah, it's definitely too wide, so it's not going to fit. So sorry, guys. You're not going to be able to enjoy your new home. But overall, this is really cool. Um, I only wanted to pick up one. Yeah, but I do have another type of uh, storage container that comes with the uh, Fresh Retro Container Warehouse. It's um, like a little play set I'm going to have set up. Uh, it's still in the box. I have not opened that up, so maybe we will do a video on that also. But in the meantime, this is what we got, and I'm going to do some stuff after this video to figure out where exactly it's going to go. Again, I'll show you the inside. Show you this close up with the G.I. Joe figure so you can see his feet are on the ground and his head has got some distance. So you can fit quite a few figures in here. And you can set it up and decorate it if you want to put stuff in there, you know, have a computer terminal, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know. Possibilities are endless. So we'll go ahead, fix these and close this back up. One door and one door. Lock, lock, lock. And lock and it's pretty neat because you have these little pieces up here that these uh, little tabs click onto so it actually locks in place and it's pretty awesome it's kind of a tight fit so yeah quick little video just wanted to show this off it's something cool if you guys are uh, diorama uh, builders or you want to add some custom touches to any of your um, your smaller figures this is definitely pretty cool I would definitely uh, give it a chance to check it out and see what you guys come up with but yeah, that's going to do it for this little short video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, like always, leave a giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you know if I post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.